Let's set up our environment for the project. As you can see here, my React server is already running. I have created my React app using an npx create React app. So create your app using this command. Then go to your application directory and install all the libraries that we need. We will need these three packages. First is Redux, then React Redux and the last is Redux Toolkit. Let's clear some code. Now in the index.js file, we don't need this fab vitals, so comment this out. First of all, I want to show how you can use Redux in a simple JS file. Then in the next video, we will use it in the React. Here we are building a simple counter. So let's create a reducer function first. Now as mentioned here, reducer is a function that receives the current state and an action object. Then decides how to update this state and returns a new state. You can think of a reducer as an event listener which handles event based on the received action type. So let's pass initial state and action in the reducer. First define the initial state, write a counter and its value is 0. Write a state equals initial state. Now for the action, it can be any event like increment or decrement counter. As I mentioned here, an action is a plain JS object that has a type field. You can think of an action as an event that describes something that uh, happened in the application. Action object looks like this. This uh, add to do action have a two fields. First is the type which is which says to do added, and the second is the payload. Payload contains details necessary for the action. Let's write logic to update states in a reducer function. If action.type is an increment, then we will increment the state. Else if action.type is a decrement, then we will decrement the current state. Else return state. You must return state if there is no action otherwise it will break your application. This is our logic for the counter inside the reducer. Let's create a Redux store. As I mentioned here, the current Redux application state lives in an object called the store. The store is created by passing a reducer function and has a method called getState that returns a current set state value. Let's create our store. Write const store equals create store. Create store is a function that used to create store in a Redux. Pass counter reducer inside this function. Now 
Let's log the store and see what it has to offer. The store is an object having all these methods. Dispatch is used to dispatch an action, while get state is used to get current state. There are more more different methods like replace reducer. You will learn more about them later. Let's get our state. This shows a state object. Now let's dispatch one action. To do that, we can use a dispatch method. Now in this dispatch method, we will dispatch action object. This object must have a type, so let's write increment and save it. Copy this get state so that we can see what happens after we dispatch the action. As you can see here, before dispatching action, counter was 0 and now it is incremented by 1. Let's dispatch it one more time. It's working. Let's dispatch a decrement action. As you can see here, it is working great. Now what happens is, when we dispatch this action using a store.dispatch method, it goes to a counter reducer. Then counter reducer checks the type of action and then returns a new updated state. Now rather than writing this get state method every time, we can use a subscribe method. This subscribe method adds an event listener whenever any action is dispatched or any changes happens inside the state tree. Write store.subscribe. This method returns function. Let's log store is changed. Now as you can see here, because of the three actions are dispatched, it shows a store change for three times. Let's log a state also. And it is showing the state. Let's summarize what we did so far. First, we created this reducer function which takes initial state and action as inputs. These actions are object having a type and payload which can be any details. Let's use this payload instead of one, write action dot payload. Also add payload with the type and write phi as its value. For the second increment action, write 10 
Save this and let's check it. Now as you can see here, it is incremented by 5 for the first section, then it is incremented by 10 which makes it 15 and the last section is decremented by 1. After the reducer function, we created the store and pass the reducer. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how to debug this Redux application.